This is Xi Wing Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network, and I'd like to uh, introduce you to another uh, VA foreclosure deal. So uh, this property has been on the VA listing for about a week now. So hopefully it is still available in the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, again, for those of the uh, investors that are already on my fee-based program, you always get the uh, <coughs> chance to submit offers and buy these kind of deals. For those of you that are listening right now that uh, are first timers and if this program fit your criteria, uh, then I behoove you to uh, get involved in my program and start consulting with me because this kind of VA deals, they, uh, they get uh, so very, very quickly. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so anyway, this property is located in Deltona. It's listed at uh, $199,900, 100, so exactly $200,000. So the value add associated with this property is uh, is four bedroom, three bath, uh, 2,536 square foot. So most of the homes in this neighborhood are three bedrooms. So having an extra bedroom will command higher uh, rental rates. So we'll, we'll go over that, all right? So uh, <clears throat> Deltona, uh, something Central Florida, uh, for those members that have been with me for a, a number of years, the, our network has been promoting Central Florida for quite a while. Gene Gillum is our uh, 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 affiliate partner in Central Florida. But she's not part of this program. She's uh, she sells uh, new construction, <clears throat> regular new construction uh, properties throughout Central Florida for num a number of years with us. But uh, so this VA program is strictly uh, my my baby. <laughs> my I created this system. So Deltona, uh, never mind about that. Let me tell you, Deltona is right in the heart of Central Florida. is very fast growing. And it has been growing for, for a few years now and will continue to grow. Uh, so is let me show you the map relative to uh, to the landscape Florida. So like I said, Deltona is right smack, like not very far from uh, from the core of Orlando, to a little bit to the north, like I would say like 30 miles to the north. And it's you know on this uh, corridor, very, very popular corridor. Uh, so Orlando's right here, then Deltona is right here on the black dot, and uh, all the small cities in surrounding Central Florida, all of these little cities are very fast growing, and the uh, Deltona Beach is up here, and all New Smyrna Beach, all these areas that we have investors, our investors have been buying Central Florida for the past 10 years. So I know Deltona very well, I know Central Florida well, very well. So. This is an excellent location, and uh, for for long term population and job growth, it's just it has everything. Okay, so uh, there's a uh, demand and supply situation, right? Demand for rental homes are you know, very very high, and the supply of homes in this area is very very low. So uh, anyway, so with that said, let's uh, let's go over like I always do. Uh, let's go over the uh, the rental activity, okay, uh, where this property is at in relationship to the uh, to the neighborhood and how many homes are being rented. Uh, even though uh, even though there are only six homes within a three mile radius uh, for the past four months has uh, shown a, a similar rent, which is quite high, right? So <clears throat> the square footage of this property. As you can see, it's 2,500 square foot, very large. <clears throat> so a equal property, a four bedroom, is rented at 1950 per month, okay? So so this is a, as close as we'll, we'll see another uh, home. Uh, anyway, so, right, so we all agree, but most of the homes in this neighborhood, the three mile radius or three bedrooms. So let me click on three bedrooms, see how many homes are being, rented in this three mile radius and there are 43 homes that are being rented. rented. So 
that uh, pretty much gave me the the, the confidence to uh, to know that uh, the rental market in this area in the past has been very strong and will continue continue to be strong. And you, once you purchase this property, your pop property will should be rented fairly quickly <clears throat> because of the uh, nice house, nice neighborhood, and a nice strategic area. Okay, so it meets all my criteria. So let's go back to the property itself. <clears throat> And let's uh, let's go over the highlights. In fact, let's go over the picture. This property is built in 1980, a little bit older than usual. But uh, let's look at the interior outside. Uh, typically, <coughs> the interior looks pretty good, right? Very clean as always. Uh, they uh, they fix it up as best they could for so for the VA, the seller, Veteran Administration, uh, able to uh, promote this property for for sale for homeowners and investors alike so very spacious as we know a lot of room for uh for the new owner to uh to fix it up based on what they want so in your case as an investor you fix it up based on how uh rentable how marketable it is for a tenant to move in uh, all right so let me see what else here's a large two-car garage seems like so uh the backyard looks like a very, very large backyard. So yeah, is uh, one one floor just and uh, very spacious as you can see. A little bit older to be expected. So don't need to have a major renovation. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> so anyway. So I have to believe that the uh, cosmetic repair uh, 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 investor uh, owner might have to come up with maybe maybe seven thousand dollars, could be slightly more. So your expectation are, of course, when you buy a vehicle foreclosure, you're buying as it is, right? Subject to uh, you have to bear bear the burden of uh, <clears throat> that risk, but. Uh, these kind of homes are does not require foundational repairs or uh, major uh, repairs, just uh, cosmetic and minor repairs. So you have to bear the risk. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the de description pretty much says uh, what I have just said. Hurry before it's gone. So that means uh, the uh, the VA seller expect to have multiple offers on this home. I'm not sure whether it, it might be so already. I'm not sure. So. Uh, built 1980. The lot is 1.17 acres, so a uh, very large backyard lot. So that's good. Okay. And another interesting fact we look at here under the Zillow price history, as recent as uh, last year when this house was on the market, it was listing for almost 260,000. Now, it's been reduced to a 199, so there has a reduction back in March 4th. As you can see, it had a 23% reduction. I don't know why, uh, but it, as a as a buyer, it does not matter because our expectation is that this house will be very very desirable in terms of a potential purchase for a local prospective home uh, future homeowner or a, as an investor like we are to uh, pull the trigger. Potentially, so we expect a multiple offer in this house. Could be five offers, could be ten. We do not know. But uh, once you submit an offer, if your offer get accepted, I would say maybe 25% chance your offer may be accepted. Uh, if you're lucky, then uh, then the offer <clears throat> get accepted contingent upon uh, the inspection report that meeting your criteria. And if the inspection report does not meet your criteria. A week after your uh, your offer was accepted, then you'll have a opportunity to walk away from the property without any repercussions. All right, so that's a good good pay, good point. So based on the uh, uh, the the, uh, the price of this property, the fluctuations uh, within the past uh, uh, few months, so it appears that you'll potentially potentially buy this house at a 
pretty substantial uh, substantial discount. So you have a so you can have a potential for for walking equity. And here are the uh, the monthly projection of uh, taxes insurance. There's no HOA fee, so that's good. And the projected rent on this property is 1850. So the numbers are very very good. <clears throat> and I will uh, go over the uh, pro forma momentarily to show you the the numerical formulas associated with this property. So the uh, the school rating four, three, and four. So I would have to say this property to me it will be a B plus or A minus class neighborhood. All right. So and another thing here, the Zillow predicted uh, predicts that in the next four months, uh, this past four months, 2019, the homes in this neighborhood have risen 6.6 percent. And the prediction for the next four months, the uh, properties in this neighborhood will rise 6.7%. I don't know. I don't take too much serious consideration about future projection. Nobody have a crystal ball, but uh, it's nice to uh, to see this kind of data <clears throat> um, that were projected by Zillow and other uh, sources. So uh, the future is very, very bright on this property. So. As always, I'm going to go through a three uh, scenario, a five percent down, venti financing for those. So those for those of you who have two years of ownership rental property experience, you qualify for the venti financing five percent down. And let's go over the numbers, right? So five percent down multiplied by one nine nine k. So your down payment is almost ten thousand, a mere ten thousand. And then your closing costs approximately three thousand, and I project that the uh, uh, repair costs out of your pocket at seventy five hundred. So your total cash invested is uh, twenty one four nine five. All right, and then uh, with this uh, gross rent of nineteen hundred, which is a very good rent to value ratio, minus a five percent vacancy factor. The operating income is 1805. Then your monthly property taxes, or as you can see, is very reasonable 175 per month. Taxes, insurance, property management fee at 8%. Just so you know, all right, we have, uh, I have a close relationship with two property management here in Central Florida. And not, uh, not only they uh, have, have a proven track record, they can get the homes rented, they also have a partnership with uh, a, a construction team, a rehab team that could go into your property and do the repairs once your inspection report has been obtained. And more often than not, their cost of uh, repair uh, is uh, a lot lower than uh, someone you may not know. So having, uh, because of my longevity in this business, uh, I have a cultivated relationship with property managers in all these markets and Central Florida uh, is no exception whereby we have everything on the ground. We have the property management, we have the rehab team to uh, have a discounted cost to minimize your cost of rehab, all right? And then, uh, so you, you, should be, you should be reassured that uh, because of my knowledge and longevity and track record of uh, bringing my investors to Central Florida all these years, uh, that uh, I know what I'm talking about. I picked the right property, and I picked the right location, and so you can achieve long-term wealth through, in this case, via foreclosure system. All right. So uh, when you when it's all said and done, if you look at the operating expenses, and finally your loan, <laughs> isn't amazing to have a 95% loan to value. I mean, I mean this is unheard of to have the ability for investor, uh, for those of you that qualify, to only get a 5% down payment. And the interest rate on this venti financing 30 year amortized rate is only 3.5%. Now, this is a historical, historical loan rate for investment home rates in history 3.5%. So, uh, very, very unique. So, it will give you high cash flow, uh, uh, positive cash flow. So, at the end of the day, by the way, your monthly mortgage is 852, right? Your monthly mortgage is 852 plus all the uh, taxes, insurance, property management fee, and <clears throat> maintenance factors, and in a vacancy factor of 5% each, it'll uh, 
give you a monthly net cash flow of a whopping $468 based on 1900 uh, projected rent. So these numbers are really off the chart. As you can tell right here, rent to value ratio is 1%, right? 1% multiplied by the purchase price of 200,000 equals like almost $2,000 in 1900 monthly rent, give you a capitalization rate of 7.9%, very, very uh, above the benchmark. And then cash on cash return, also very, very high, 26%. That means if this number holds up uh, a little bit less than four years, the net annual cash flow will equal to your total amount at risk that you put in initially, which is right here, 21, 22,000. Okay, see, see, you understand how I did this? And then <clears throat> your annual net cash flow with 5,600 plus the principal reduction uh, benefit another 3600 plus we are only projected 2% appreciation rate even though the projection from, from Zillow is uh, what 6% then you pro buy this property at 10 to 20% below market value okay which the number which I have not even incorporated on my calculation so uh, so making your total return on investment way above on paper that I put in at a very conservative 62% Okay, so if you combine your annual net cash flow, your principal tax reduction, I mean principal reduction of your loan by paying it down the first year, and then the two percent appreciation, which is a, a four thousand equal total of thirteen thousand two five seven gross equity income divided by your know, your total cash investment twenty one thousand equal a total at least on paper total return on investment at the end of the first year at a whopping six two percent. So this is a paper profit. Or is a real paper profit, right? 62% total ROI right before uh, before taxation. So uh, right. So so these kind of re returns are you have to argue is just uh, much much better than the stock market and the mutual funds out there. Okay. So this based on five percent down, five percent down, no PMI, you're getting a whopping four hundred sixty eight dollars uh, per month net cash flow. That that is just just amazing number, right? And only you put in a little about 22 grand. That's nothing. Okay, so this is a. Uh, so let me give you another scenario, right? The uh, for those of you who do not qualify for five percent in a VA loan vendor financing because you do not have two years of ownership experience, but you that you have the money, you can still qualify. If you're a newbie or somebody, uh, any other person, you can. There's no. Uh, ownership experience, all you need to do is qualify for this 25% down payment, right? Uh, you know, you have a good credit, good FICO score, good last two years of W2 income and tax return, and less than 40% debt to income ratio, you qualify to buy this home. But at the Fannie Mae guideline, lending guideline, which is, you know, 15, 20 to 25% down payment, I use the projection 25% down payment for those of you that have the money, have the uh, the resources and going to qualify to get a loan. So, so the assumption is you could buy this house with 25% down payment. And uh, so your total uh, out of pocket is 61,000, including closing costs and the uh, fixed up costs. So a lot more money, right? Three times, two times more money. Still, that's fine. And all the numbers monthly and annually still the same, but the, uh, the loan rate, the loan rate for Fannie Mae lending for investor has decreased recently uh, due to the, uh, the health issues with the virus and all that. So the uh, the interest rate for you guys are even lower than before, 3.875%. I already verified it with my loan agent, Mr. Richard Advani, and this is the rate as of today, which is March the 11th, 2020. So three, this 3.875%, a mortgage rate for investor with 25 percent down payment is very 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 attractive uh recently it was you know in the mid four and mid five percent as recent as a year ago something like that right so with much much lower interest rate on the loan you you get more cash flow so 25 percent down payment even though more down payment 61,000 total your net monthly cash flow is 616 dollars okay and uh, again very attractive Okay, so the, 
all the numbers are also very good. I'm not, I don't need to repeat this. You can read it on your own. Okay, so this is a, so this is the second scenario. And the third scenario would be for those of you, many of you have individual retirement accounts. I will presume, right? If you work for an employer for more than five years, you should have accumulated, uh, uh, you know, pretty significant amount of money. So if you have your previous employer 401k or a regular IRA, uh, except you cannot use your current employer 401k to, uh, to, uh, to buy real estate. So other than that, you have the freedom to uh, tap into your IRAs, your qualified plans, and use the name of the IRA to buy property. Uh, so uh, for those of you in my network, uh, you know that you can buy our uh, property with your IRA. And, but I have some advanced strategy. Some of you know what I'm talking about. You do not have to buy this property, this $200,000 property with all your IRA money, although you could, right? You buy all cash with the IRA, have a much higher cash flow, but <clears throat> because uh, of our expertise, uh, of my expertise all these years, I had the resources to connect them to uh, give you some advanced strategies and find properties which are IRAs are no exception. What I'm trying to say is uh, uh, you can, uh, in this case, because of the property of this price, you can put only 50% down with your IRA, which in this case, 111,000. So, at the, so, all you need is about $111,000 of IRA, self-directed IRA to purchase this $200,000 property. And then uh, all you gotta do is get a non-recourse loan, the other 50%, your non-recourse loan, which is not almost $100,000, will be uh, leveraged against your IRA, okay? This non-recourse loan is part of the IRA, it's not a, it's not a regular loan, people will not see. Uh, this loan in public is just a uh, part of the IRA, right? So it have nothing to do with the regular investment loan you've been doing under your name because you buy strictly in the name of the IRA. So as a result, you do not need to uh, submit your FICO score, your tax return, your W-2s or whatever, because the IRA will qualify to buy this property in the name of the IRA, okay? So, with, so this monthly payment of uh, 573, and along with all the debt obligations are all done inside the IRA. So uh, you get a tax deferral growth, right? So at the end of the day, with 50% down, you can achieve a monthly net cash flow of 747. Uh, if you're under the age 59 and a half, so it behooves you to, uh, uh, whenever you have these monthly net cash flow to roll your money over in the IRA tax deferral, right? So keep on growing your, your cash flow and your appreciation of your property inside the IRA tax deferral, tax free, until it's time for you to retire age 59 and a half or older. So consult your tax advisor uh, on uh, on other matters. But uh, anyway, so there are three ways. In recap, there are three ways you can buy your property, right? One, uh, the first is uh, using 5% down payment. Second, uh, if you do not qualify for that, then use your typical 25% down vintage financing. I mean, a 25% regular financing with Fannie Mae investment loan. All right, and third is using your IRA to buy, to leverage through your non-recourse loan. So great strategy, right? Of course. And of course, we have a great team. We have several property managers that can do the rehab for you, that can help you rent the property long-term. And uh, so uh, that's pretty much it, right? So. Uh, for those of you who are interested in my fee-based program to get into this uh, system, uh, contact me right away. And uh, most likely, you're not going to be able to buy this property by the time you get your uh, you get into my program. But VA foreclosure will be available down the road for you, so we can work together to help you achieve your real estate goals buying VA foreclosures using my unique system. All right, thank you so much for listening. My name is Si Wing Yi from the Year Real Estate Network. Have a nice day. Bye bye.